What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Empyreon. My name is Splattercat. How did you like the last episode? We went out there and we scavenged that ship over there. Pretty sweet, right? Well, in today's episode, so I've kind of like stopped building over there, I don't know. I got tired of messing with stuff and I didn't have the repair gun, which seems to be like the major thing you need in order to do proper renovations of a building. So, while we wait, in today's episode what we need to do is we need to make ourselves a hover raft or a vehicle so that we can get around the planet a little bit easier. I've gone in between episodes and I mined all the iron, I mined all the promethium, I haven't gone up there and gotten the copper right now, but the big thing about this is that really this planet needs to have a few more resources if we're going to be able to get off of it. So for right now, I only got like 25 promethium out of this little spot right here, it's not enough. That was barely enough for me to do maybe, I think 40 fuel cells or 50 fuel cells or something like that, that's not a ton and our oxygen comes from fuel cells. So as of right now, I'm thinking it might be a really, really good idea if we get ourselves just a basic vehicle built. I'm not going to try and make it look pretty or anything like that because it's a waste of time at this point in the game. My rationale there is I'm just going to make a quick and dirty, ugly ship that I can fly around on so that we can try and figure out what other resources are available. It is vaguely possible that we may find other ships like that. I can definitely see some kind of city if you look right there. I don't know if YouTube's going to compress this or not. What happens is when you upload a video to YouTube, they compress it from whatever the bitrate is down to like 400 million. I'm sorry, they download it to, or they down convert it to like 4 million uh, Mbps. I'm not even sure. Either way, let's not talk about that right now. Sometimes they compress it and it makes the video quality very, very muddy and there's very little you can do about it. So anyways, I don't know if you guys can see that spire over there, but it looks like there's a city over there. If we walk out this way, there's definitely, you can see it cresting over the hill right now, there's another spire over there. And so I think there will be things to explore around here, but if we wanted to do it safely, I need to make a new gun. I need to make some like random supplies, but most importantly, I need to make a vehicle to get around in because the oxygen is simply not going to last long enough. And while you're inside of a vehicle, if you equip it with oxygen tanks, your oxygen won't refill, but you won't lose any oxygen either, which allows you to stretch out your oxygen supply a little bit further than you would normally be able to. So, I would like to go through, and for right now, let me take a look at my inventory real fast. I've got a lot of the parts that you need in order to make yourself a ground vehicle, but I'm going to need a couple more. we got a normal thruster. I'm going to need some directional thrusters, and we'll talk about this from the top down in terms of what you're going to need in order to make this work. So, let me find my thruster pattern on here. I believe it's inside of here. That's a spotlight cube. We actually, it might be a smart idea to put some headlights on this thing. I've got the fuel tank. we got all that. I need directional thrusters for a GV. So if you wanted to make a ground vehicle, you need to find all the parts that say GV and you slap them onto here. Although the bare minimum stuff that you need is you need a cockpit, you need a starter kit, you need a generator for the basic electrical system, you need a fuel tank to put the Prometheum into, you need an RCS which is essentially like power steering or it allows you to control the vehicle a little bit better, and then you need a normal thruster or you can just use a bunch of directional thrusters. The difference between the two is that these kind of just like only go forwards. Whereas these, they turn in whatever direction you slap them in on the side of the ship. So we're going to need four of these in addition. Well, we need three of these in addition to one of these right here. Based on the current supplies that we have. And so, since we need the cables, it's going to take a while for those to get built. It's not really a big deal. I don't know if I have the right stuff. So we needed nine cables and 15 pipes. We have three pipes. That's not good. And then as far as our cabling goes, we've got six. And so what I'm going to need to do right now is let's turn that off. I need nine pipes and I needed, or I'm sorry, I needed three cables. I got it backwards. I apologize. I need three cables. And when it comes to pipes, I need 12 more. We're using a lot of resources right now. This is a very resource hungry game. So if you've never played it before, be careful in the way that you plan out using your stuff because you will go through it and it will be unfortunate if you can't get everything lined up. So these take copper ingots. That's perfectly fine. And then for pipes, it takes two metal plates, which I think we have like a ton of. Yeah, I sat down and I made, I knew that metal plates were used for like everything. So I sat down and just made an absurd amount of metal plates. So I wouldn't have to worry about it for a while. I got tired of ping ponging in between recipes. This is one of those games where the crafting is a bit more complicated than what most people are used to for say like Minecraft or a lot of other kind of crafting games out there. This one, there are intermediate steps and you got to jump through a lot more hoops in order to get this stuff. Ooh, that's expensive. It's going to cost me two metal plates of pop. And how many do I have? So I needed 12 of these. It's going to take forever. All right. And so now that we got that done, the next thing that I would want to do is let's turn on the constructor. And once it's done, did I have everything right there? I needed electronics and mechanical components too. 
Ew, that's no fun. Okay, so mechanical components. How many of those do I have? Two. So I need a bunch more of those. That means that I'm going to need, I guess, eight more mechanical components, which is two more ticks right here because I think you get five out each time. No, never mind. You only get a couple out each time. All right, well, we'll let that go real fast. I actually, we get two on output from each of these two, so with the pipes... Do I just get one? Okay, the pipes are one for one. These will get done pretty quickly because they're prerequisite parts, but once you get to like the final assembly, it tends to take some time. And this is where you're going to spend like a great deal of your time. Like honestly, I spend probably more of my time in this game waiting for things to get crafted than I do actually just like playing. I do think that the crafting speeds could be tuned up a tiny bit, but they might be balanced right now for PvP. That's the part that I would say is that this game is meant to be played online against other people, so some things may not transfer one for one properly in between the gameplay experience and single player and multiplayer. I remember feeling the same way about, I need electronics. Where are my electronics at? And I need those like right now. Electronics? Are you around here anywhere? Capacitor devices, motors, computers, metal pieces, that's a control. There you go. How many of these do I get out? Not enough, I don't think. I can build like three of those just so it gets started while we wait. And I needed 12 of them, so that'll be fun. Let's go ahead, and how many did I drop into this? I put right there. Let's go ahead and we'll put that up to 12 so I have enough to get through here. I might be, if I'm calculating or doing arithmetic wrong, I beg your forgiveness, oh noble individual of the internet. It's not my fault. The public school raised me. So let's put this right here. And we want to be careful about this. This is going to be our hover engine right here. And you can't do anything about this thing until you have a hover engine. The way the game used to work is you could lay down like a core. And you could lay down some other blocks. And it would kind of work differently. Now you start with this base template that you have to craft. I don't mind it either way. I feel no opinion about it strongly in either direction. We need a hull block though. So let's go ahead and take this thing. And I'd like to get this just sort of like slotted out and a little bit larger. The bigger you make this, though, you will note that if you go into your inventory, your ship will have mass based on the amount of blocks that you've put into it so far. Just be aware that, like, the bigger you make your ship, the heavier it's going to be and the more poorly it's going to turn, accelerate, handle, corner, all that kind of stuff. My ship is actually probably going to be really, really ugly. And I already gave you this warning, but don't expect me to build, like, a super awesome looking ship right now because that takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of, like, fiddling around with blocks and whatnot. So for right now, I'm going to make like four more of those, and I think this should be pretty much enough space to get us started with the basic implements of flight. I'd like to get this done by the end of the episode, and then maybe in next episode we'll go out and scout some of these alternate locations. But for right now, life is looking pretty good. I think I need four more of these little guys right here if I wanted to make the sled look good, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to take the cockpit real fast. We're going to drop that in. The cockpit is one of the most important things that you need in order to make a little vehicle. I'm going to put it right there, and the spacing back by one block has a reason. I'll explain why I did that later on once we start retrofitting this. and try, I'm, I'm going to try and make it a little bit more pretty in the future, ultimately. That's like, it's my first video back from Monday right now. I find that on my first videos back from Monday, it takes a while for the juices to start flowing. Like, I assume there's something in, like, brain chemistry or neuroscience or something with, like, your neurons connecting. And I don't know, it was a long weekend anyways. It was a weekend full of debauchery and just, like, victorious drinking. And so, unfortunately, right now... I'm still fuzzy. Like yesterday, I had like the hangover of a century. It was narnar. -nar. What's going on over here? How come? Oh, I'm out of power, aren't I? Fuel cells are not lit up. Yeah, that's a bad thing. That's a very, very bad thing. Okay, so fuel cells are inside of here. Let's slot up a few more of these guys. I would be careful about the way that you go through. And equip these you should be turning off your ship when it's not in use because there is a slight drain on fuel cells So like if you're not crafting anything remember to jump up into your cockpit and be like but and like turn off the engine Otherwise, you'll be going through fuel at a rate that is not satisfactory That's unfortunate because I was waiting on this to get done while I was crafting and so I'm a little bit disappointed with myself right now We've got an interior block right there. We've got whole quarter rounds I built a bunch of stuff because I was actually planning on making a pretty ship before we left, but unfortunately it's not going to work like that. I think what I may break off and do here for right now is I need like four more hull blocks. I'm going to wait for those to get done, and I'm going to queue up the last remaining thrusters. And then we're going to go check our oxygen scrubber, or our little oxygen farm. 
I need it. Oh, yeah, it's going to be in this menu right here. I need two more of these little bad boys, and then we'll be the hell up out of here for right now. Let's sprint on over to the ocean. I'm going to call this the ocean because it's the biggest body of water that we have around. It's just a lagoon that we call the ocean. There's a lagoon like this near where I live, and ducks hang out there. And ducks are not nice animals. It's not like a nice area, you know what I mean? But, like, I don't know if I should tell this story or not. This story is a little bit rough. This story is a little bit scratchy. It's got some splinters involved. Basically, no, I'm not going to tell the story. Never mind. Let's just walk away from There's going to be little kids watching, and it's just like, yeah, this is a P. I'll tell it on the stream. I'll tell it on the stream, I promise. Remind me to tell it on the stream, and I'll do my best, because my stream is like my R-rated NC-17 time, where I get to do my, you know, waking up late, or being up, staying up late. Do people wake up late, staying up late with Splattercat? There we go. I assume that based on where you are on the Earth, you have 21 oxygen bottles over here. This still has another hour of functionality time based off these two. And based on the current amount of oxygen bottles that I have available, I see no reason to, like, freak out and keep this thing overfueled. By large, the biggest expenditure you go through is just running your constructor over by the escape pod. I'm going to eat some food real fast, too. These corn dogs right here, they are fantastic for saving your rations. Seriously. I eat these things in... Ow. What just happened? What is going... No! No, you stop it right now. I don't even know what that is. No, Space Scorpion. You get the hell on out of here. Mm-hmm. Xenomorph, you better get up out of here. Xenomorphic Scorpion with weird putty skin. That's what you get. Like, I've got psoriasis, and I ran out of my medication, you ass. I'm like, sorry, I didn't mean to pick on you for something that you can't change. He's like, that's what I thought. And then you shot me in the face with a gun. You shot me in the face with a gun. I'm like, to be fair... You did stab me several times with a big stingy thing that is on your butt. I don't know if it's sanitary. I don't know if you've got Purell on that thing. It could be filthy. Like, who knows where your little stingamajig has been. And you just went ahead and rammed it into my body. And now I've got, like, this weird pustule thing growing on the side of me. That's not fair. This was not supposed to be a part of my intergalactic adventures. We're not really intergalactic. We're not even interplanetary right now. I'm going to fly to that planet one day, though. I'm just letting you know. That's all I want to do with this series. Like, seriously, if I fly somewhere, if I can fly to another planet, eh, game over. Series concluded. We can go do something else. I am going to take the parts out now that I had, which should just be a cupola thrust. Oh, man. It only made one thruster. No, I'm bad at counting. Let me guess. I missed by, like, one or two. It's true. Girl, you know it's true. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love you. Was that Millie Vanilli? That's Millie Vanilli. Man, why am I thinking about Millie Vanilli right now? That's an odd met. I grew up during that time period, by the way. Millie Vanilli was played frequently on my mom's boombox at our house when I was a kid. So anyways, I, I don't know why I'm thinking of Millie Vanilli. Though. That's such an odd mental reference to make. Like, I just don't get why I would have done that to myself. So we need to... I might need a little bit more space here, too. Did it go up? Oh, you get it? That was kind of funny because we're playing a space game right now. That's kind of fun. That's a little bit enjoyable. So did you just not make the... Oh, it made the four blocks. I think I'm going to need more than that, though. I think I'm definitely going to need more than that. All right, well, let's step off here. Step off! Step off! I think we're probably going to need at least three to four more layers behind the cockpit right now in order to fit, like, all the random shenanigans we have going on. And on top of that, I think it's probably a wise idea if we get ourselves a repair tool before we go much further into... Because it will allow me to get my stuff back if I accidentally click the wrong spot. It is going to be expensive, though. Just be aware. I've heard people complaining about it on the forums, how it costs you energy cells to get your stuff back. Or fuel packs or reloads or whatever. I guess the, the remove tool runs off of your drill packs. And so it's like a thing that you have to be worried about while you're out and about. Got two of these right here. I swear to God, I played for like three hours in between episodes and tried to get this already. And it still just went wrong because I'm bad at life planning. I apologize. There's not much that I can do about it for right now. Once those fuse are done, we shall craft forth for ourselves another thruster. Wait, did I already make another thruster? I did. Okay, so we're going to make for ourselves... A remove and repair tool. And so there it is. Remove and repair tool so that if I mess up during this process, which is incredibly likely. I am terrible at games like this and doing the thing that I'm supposed to. I forgot my whole blocks. Uh, this is why we never get anything done in any episode. I would like to take you guys. Like, where would you like to take us? I don't know. Out to the fancy steakhouse? Take you out to the Red Lobster. 
my first date with my girlfriend, she wanted to go out and, like, I was trying to impress her, so I tried to take her someplace fancy, but I took her to the Sizzler, because in my family, Sizzler is, like, super fancy. My family's like, yeah, we're going to the Sizzler tonight. It's a Sizzler song. Sizzler song. Going out to the Sizzler song. And so, my family gets super soaked. Like, they get super soaked. I guess they could, if you really wanted to think about it that way. But they get super stoked about the Sizzler. And so I thought, based on the way that I was raised, that the Sizzler is like a fancy restaurant. And so she dressed up like she was going to prom. And we went to the Sizzler. And needless to say, she was, she and I were both overdressed for the occasion. It was, I don't know. I thought that the Sizzler was a nice place to get food. I Seemed nice to me. So this is just like a little fuel pack right here. We can basically put this wherever. And it's not going to matter. I'd say something like that works perfectly fine right there. It doesn't have to line up with the cockpit or anything like that. But now we can put fuel in the fuel tank, which is good. And since we're not crafting anything over here, the next thing that I would highly encourage is that we get our removal tool. I'm going to eat another corn dog. Apparently, they don't sustain me very well. They got like five calories. They are the intergalactic opposite. Wait, that's not what I wanted. I wanted you to turn off the spaceship. Wait, does the music come from my spaceship? Oh, that's weird. The soundtrack comes from my spaceship. It's like boom, 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 boom. It gets you going. It's got like a little beat for you. I'd be the dumbass that would pull that one right there. I'm like, well, I could have built myself a self-sustaining society here on a different planet, but I just had to listen to the radio while I was building my ship, and unfortunately, I ran out of juice. So let me put the RCS on here. We got the fuel tank. We need the RCS. I'll probably try and conceal the RCS in one way or another, like right there behind the cockpit, and then we'll build up over the top of it later on. It'll be pretty sweet. I'm excited about it. The next thing we need is a generator because there's no way for us to get current throughout the ship without the generator. We can rotate this a little bit differently, I think. And if I could lay it down on this side. I just want to lay you down now, little generator. You're making sparks fly with me. All right, so I'll put you right there. That looks pretty good. It's not going to be symmetrical on either side, but I'm not a big fan of symmetry anyways when it comes to building little things like this, so I assume it'll probably be all good. We should probably go hunt out some food, too. We have a couple of rations left. Like, not a ton, but we have some. And so I'm hoping that, like, the rations that we have remaining will last us a little while. So we got the generator, we got the fuel tank, we got the RCS. The next thing we're going to need, we need to find the center of mass for the vehicle. And it's not actually complicated. You don't have to do it like you did back in physics class in college. Instead, you just have to count the blocks and figure out, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And so the middle point is going to be, like, I guess I could just mount it on the sides. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just mount it on the sides. I think mounting it on the sides. So you need the directional ones. And then once we have the directional ones, and I apologize right now for my rotational abilities, I promise you that this was not planned. And so we need directional thrusters. My keys right now, so on my my problem that I have right here is that I went through and I re-key bound all the things for rotating my various bits and pieces of my ship. And I re-key bound them wrong. I, re I rebound them with respect to the wrong axes. And so I'm not going to take too much time to explain what that means. But it just means that with regards to my reference point for, like, rotating stuff, they rotate in weird directions every single time I push the button and I need to fix it. I've gotten kind of used to doing it wrong, which is really sort of a horrible thing. It means that I'm just so lazy that I won't fix something even though I know that it's already messed up and wrong. I'll probably put you... Hey, it rotated the right direction. That makes me super... Maybe I did fix my keybinds. I don't know. So there's our thruster right there. And I think this is all that we need in order to get this going. Let me jump up inside of here. I'm going to throw in some fuel packs. Not too many. And I think this should be enough to get us up off the ground because the hover is provided by the first block, like the core that's in the center. That's going to be the hover ability that's provided. So if we get into the cockpit... All right, so how are we doing right now? So that one's working. It looks like the back thruster is not functioning. Neither is... Oh, they changed the key around. It used to be the space bar to make yourself hover up in... The oh, no, it's a new key now. Oh, that's not good. 
Okay, so it's the shift key, I think, to raise your altitude a little bit. Although they've moved the keys around. I don't know. They patched the game. Here's the fundamental concern of everything that I have going on. How much will that last for? Oh, my God. We have enough power for, like, three hours? Okay. Turn this off for a second. Let's go ahead and get this back on the ground. We need to figure out what's going wrong here, and we need to figure it out, like, post-haste. Because as far as I know, we've got this assembled properly. I don't know why the back thruster isn't working right now, though. The back thruster should be working automatically, and it is definitely not. I was pressing forward right there, and unfortunately, these ones worked, that one worked. I tested right here, and I heard that one work. If this doesn't end up working, it may be because... What's the total mass of the ship that we have going on right now? So we've got 120 kilograms for each block. It might be too heavy, but then again, this doesn't seem like a big vehicle to me. This seems okay. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. Okay, so there you go. There's our hover ship right there. There's a couple little things you need to know about your hover ship. I think we can actually... Now, I know that the shift key... There's going to be keys around here that allow us to hover up in the air, and it looks like they changed those too. So here's my fundamental problem right now. My real problem is that I played the game for like a week, and I tried really hard to learn stuff because I didn't want to make a dumb guy play through. And I tried really hard to learn stuff about the game and how to do all the things. The day that I started recording this series, they dropped a patch that changed all the keybinds. It changed all the devices around. It changed the way the entire game worked. And I was like, oh my god, if it wasn't for bad luck, I would have no luck at all. Oh, it's way up in the air right now. That's unfortunate. Hmm... I like how it shoots smoke up everywhere around the outside. If you wanted to see it, I don't know. It's going to be dark on the internet. So let me go ahead, and I'm going to try and brighten it up in post. But I need my flash, so I'm going to show this to you real fast. Show it to you right now. And so there's our basic hovercraft. She ain't pretty, but she'll get the job done for right now. I'm not going to spend too much time fiddling with her because we are operating on very limited resources as of this moment. I should probably actually turn the engine off. Let's jump on board. And I'm going to... Just turn her off. Unfortunately, it, it sort of just clunks to the ground. There's no landing gear for ground vehicles or anything like that right now. So when you turn it off, it's just going to go bung gunk and fall to the ground, and that's going to be that. It's going to be like game over. It just It's not going to deal any damage to the ship, I don't think. I think they make it immune to damage while it's powering down or something like that. Don't quote me on that, though. I don't know what I'm talking about like 80% of the time in my life. And so if I'm spinning a yarn, I don't like how we need a thruster on the front. It makes me sad. Like, I get why we need a thruster on the front, but I would rather have, like, an airfoil, like a little baffle, a baffle block, maybe. I don't know. Like, the little wing flaps, that's what a baffle is. A baffle is just like anything that's designed to increase drag on a vehicle. So a lot of boats have baffles. Things like that. I think planes have baffles, too. I don't know if they're called black. Well, people call them flaps, but basically a flap is kind of a baffle. Anyways, I think that's it for us today. In the next episode, we're going to go out and we're going to try and make our way to any of the other locations on this planet and just see how many random deposits we can get taken care of. We're going to treat the next episode like a bank teller and just hopefully get things done, all right? I would like to survive, and it would be such a disappointment at this point in our playthrough to starve to death or run out of oxygen or anything else because we are almost in the clear. If we could just make this happen, it's going to be super, super crystalline. So I will see you all later. My name is Splattercat. The game is called Empyreon. I will see you all in the next episode. Hi, do, everybody.